Hey guys, it's Smotown here, and we're back with another Resident Evil video. Ever since the trailers have dropped for The Village and the website has launched, one of the main questions I've had about the narrative personally is why Chris Redfield and the BSAA have taken Ethan and Mia's child. And then how does this lead into Ethan coming to the village to rescue said child? Let's take a look at what we know from gameplay, trailers and the website to have a bit of fun ruminating on this question. First thing that we know from the website is that the village is set a few years after Resident Evil 7, with Mia and Ethan living peacefully under the protection of the BSAA and Chris himself, and they have recently had a child together called Rosemary. The website then goes on to describe the narrative a little bit and says, Just as they are building their new life together, tragedy befalls them once again. When BSAA Captain Chris Redfield attacks their home, Ethan must once again head into hell, to get his kidnapped daughter back. We do indeed see Chris taking Rosemary in the trailer, so this seems to be correct. So the first thing I'd say is Chris is a good guy. Straight up, he is a hero and has been since the first game. He wouldn't have done this for any malicious reason or to benefit himself. He stands against any form of biohazard threat, and so my initial feeling is he must perceive there to be a threat relating to Rosemary the child. But how and why? Well, both Mia and Ethan came into contact and were infected by Evelyn in Resident Evil 7, E-001. We know that there was a cure developed by the BSAA, the one used on Zoe Baker, but is it possible there is irreversible damage done by E-series infection? This seems very probable given the way that it completely transforms people's bodies. Bear in mind that Mia was actually shot in the head and axe by Ethan, and so her body will have been repaired by the mould and replaced some of those vital organs with mould. Following this, my assumption would be that the child has been born inheriting some of the mould's properties from its parents, Ethan and Mia, who were infected by the E-series. This would make her a biohazard, or a unique one at least, having been born from two parents that have previously been infected by the mould. Let's consider the beginning of the trailer of Village as well. Mia is walking away from Rosemary in her crib, while Ethan tries to comfort her about something that we don't know. But given the context of the scene, she's walking away from the crib as if it's on her mind, it could be that they're talking about Rosemary and something that's wrong with her. Is it possible they know there's something wrong with their child given their past infection? Mia could be concerned that Rosemary could become a new Evelyn, given Mia's personal history with the Evelyn situation. While Ethan could be trying to reassure her that it'll work out in the end, trying to keep a positive mind on things. This makes sense to me in the context of the scene from what we've only seen in the trailer where they are both kind of around Rosemary's crib and they are talking about something that is troubling them. Okay, so what about the village? Why does Ethan need to go there to get his child back? Well, let's once again refer to what we've got, which is the trailer. Lady D is on a phone call to another character, and she references a ceremony and how important it is to them. Is it possible that they want Rosemary for some kind of ritual? To use the child's tainted blood for their benefit somehow? This would be my assumption that they want to use the E-series regenerative and transformative qualities found within Rosemary a tainted child for their own ends. Ultimately, Chris and the BSAA have been looking after me and Ethan, so they aren't fugitives that have been hunted down by the BSAA. They will only have acted the way they did because they have been perceiving a new biohazard threat and will have taken away the child for what they perceive to be its own good and Ethan and Mia's good. So that's what I've got at the moment guys, uh, of course if you're watching this after May 7 I might look very silly and I could be completely wrong but this is what I'm taking from what I know about the characters and what I've seen in the trailer and from the website. I'm very excited about the narrative of the new game and hope you guys are too. So thanks for watching this video guys, if you like Resident Evil or lore content please consider giving me a subscribe, give this video a like because it helps me out a lot and until the next time guys, take care. You called out, you called out crying